In this movie, we will explore a command called transform each, which allow you to transform each copy of an object as you go, to create some really interesting looks. So here you see some examples. Let's start by creating new document. I'm going to choose horizontal orientation. Then in a toolbar I will find one of the basic shapes like ellipse tool. And I'm going to create freehand ellipse. I will choose no color for fill. And for the stroke color, I will choose shade of blue. For the weight of the stroke, I will choose something like 0.5 points. Then in the toolbar, I will choose rotate tool and double click on it. In the rotate panel, I'm going to set angle value to 45 degrees and click OK. I'm going to return back to Rotate tool, double click on it and change angle value to 90 degrees and press on Copy to duplicate the object. Now I will select both objects and choose Transform each command. You can access this command by going back to Menu and choosing option Transform each or you can use right-click on your mouse and find transform transform each command this way. I'm going to set reference point to the center and for the scale I'm going to enter 102% horizontally and vertically. For the move I will set two points for horizontal and vertical values. For the angle I'm going to set two degrees as well and click on copy. After that, I'm going to use command transform again, which again you can activate through object transform, transform again, or you can access it through right click, transform, transform again, or you can use shortcut, control D on Windows or command D on Macintosh. And I'm going to repeat the shortcut. So I created quite interesting shape, but I'm going to continue working with the shape using some symmetrical transformations. First step, I'm going to select all the shapes I created and group it. You can group this object by returning to menu option and choosing command object group, or you can go for right click and choose option group. Now I will go for right click, transform, and choose option Reflect. I will choose Vertical Reflect option and click on Copy. As you can see, Symmetry gives me new and very interesting shape. I can select the duplicated shape and move it aside. You can see every time I move the shape, I'm getting different look. If you're losing symmetry, you always can use Align tool or perhaps you want to break a symmetry and disalign the shapes you created. Also, you can select both shapes again and use Transform Reflect tool again. This time I will choose Horizontal Reflect and again I'm going to press on Copy. As you can see, I have a completely new shape here. Let's try to create another design. I will start by choosing ellipse tool again and I will create freehand ellipse. I will click on rotation tool and enter angle of 90 degrees and click on copy. This time I'm going to downsize the initial shape. Again I'm going to go for right click and choose option transform, transform each. I'm going to keep the same values of 102% for horizontal and vertical values of scale, 2 points for move and 2 degrees angle for rotate. And I'll click on copy. Then I'm going to repeat transform again command by using shortcut Ctrl D on PC or Command D on Macintosh. This time I'm going to press Ctrl D a little longer. And as you can see, my shape is more complicated as well. 
are going to group the shape I created by using right click command on my mouse and using option group. Then I'm going to right click again and choose option transform reflect and I will choose vertical reflect and click on copy. The new shape I created is definitely more complex and I can create more modifications by selecting one of the shapes and moving it aside, breaking the symmetry, uh, looking for new and interesting designs or restoring symmetry. To create more dramatic look, I'm going to add some background. I'm going to select rectangle tool and create a rectangle. On the window, I will find color panel and for fill, I'm going to choose rich black color, which is 100% of cyan, magenta, yellow and black. Now I'm going to select command arrange send to back, which you can access by right clicking on your mouse or you can choose menu option object arrange send to back. In order to create more interesting visual effect, I recommend to change default color set from CMYK to RGB, which you can change by choosing option File, Document Color Mode and choose RGB. Now for convenience I'm going to lock the background. So first I'm going to select the background rectangle and choose Command Object Lock Selection to lock it. Then I'm going to select all the shapes I created and change amount of stroke to 0 0.25 points. And as you can see, I have completely different look here. For the next step, you might want to look for different modifications. I can continue transforming the shape I created if I need. To do that, first I'm going to group the shape and then Again, use right click transform reflect command and I'm going to reflect horizontally and click on copy. So here I have new look and if I want I can move the duplicated object. If I want I can keep experimenting with symmetry, creating different shapes or quite opposite might want to ungroup the shapes I created and look for alternative designs. In order to deliver the final result, I want to crop my image. And to do that, first I need to unlock the locked objects. And I can do that by choosing option Object Unlock All. Then I need to select all the graphics I created. And you can do this by choosing option Select All or shortcut Control A on Windows or Command A on Macintosh. Then I need to group all my graphics and I will choose shortcut of right click group then I will choose rectangle tool and I will look for the area I want to crop. I want to choose a small area in the center. Again I'm going to select everything by choosing command control A and again I want to select everything by choosing option select all then right click and I will choose option make clipping mask or I can use menu option Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And now I can see the cropped area of my design. By repeating the steps and each time modifying the shapes, you can create as many interesting designs as you desire.